till the time you're 25 you have infinite energy but see what happens after you turn 25 just restrained you don't have to react find purpose in your work don't let anyone else tell your story the first step is to take the first step you need to show up every day and do your duty like a constable what's the best piece of advice you ever got this is a question asked many of my guests across the show and we made an interesting compilation of some of the best responses we got on that that's what's ahead on this episode so if you look at the time stamps and you want to go a specific guest or you want to watch this from start to end that's your choice but it will make you maybe think about what's the best piece of advice you ever gotten but before you go there i want to make sure you hit subscribe and smash the bell icon to stay in to a multitude of advices <laughs> I've learned something who is not human but human in more ways yeah. than us is that sense of self-assuredness. Yeah. You know, just like I'm really not answerable to you for my actions. I think it's a great advice yeah. if you want to absorb it. Yeah. Like just be you and and people may be like what is he doing? Mm. or haha that is so cute yeah you know or just be like wow and i think there is learning like that all around in, us in every way like i find learnings when i meet strangers on my solo trips just doing nice things for people because you don't know how they're going to come back and affect you and i think that's what the power of goodness is just never be afraid to do your bit and move on because it will come back to someone somewhere when you're least expecting it exercise restraint um i feel like it's one quality that i've been honing just restraint like you don't have to react you don't have to i mean having a platform like humans of bombay comes with a huge amount of public just the eye right like you are scrutinized for certain things and in the past when things were written negatively i would react and it was so stupid like i was like why are you reacting you know like don't react to that just yeah. just let it be and uh, disconnect a little bit emotionally um i think that i've now consciously made an effort to not take things so personally on when it comes to the business um it was tough uh, but uh, there's no other way to be you can't be crazy like take it personally if somebody says something it's just what it is you know and uh, um i would just say that like keep going or keep at it because the first two or three years were actually not the easiest because it it had never been done before I used to work for this documentary film called Jaydi Verma. Hmm. So he used to say, "Till the time you tw- till the time you're 25, you have infinite energy. But see what happens after you turn 25. Your energy gets limited, and then all of your battles in life are about how to utilize that limited energy hmm. and how to maximize life from that limited energy." Um, that's what he said, but he meant something else. But I'm saying it what I, you hmm. know, my version of it. Uh, I think that's very true. To 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 uh, you have this limited energy in a day and what do you make of it is the is the is the real challenge find purpose in your work that is the key um i know listeners would probably expect me to say something about physical biology or genetics and epigenetics etc but what i found is and i choose the words find purpose not create or, or rather create purpose in what you're doing is that um that is what keeps you sticky it's the grit it's the resiliency the reason i'm going to the arctic is precisely looking at mental resiliency in extreme environments with a group of of leaders uh, as an exercise around that right and whenever we find purpose or create purpose in any task as simple as a writing assignment to washing the dishes to do, doing doing practically anything that suddenly gives us 
a capability to make it to the finish line and do it with a smile at the end. Um, so that's what I would say is, is the answer, in my opinion. The first step is to take the first step. I think a lot of people suffer from an analysis paralysis. They're always like analyzing, should I do this, should I not? Here's the math, here's this, here's that. I mean, do some basic math because you need to understand what your kind of plan B and your safety is. But but take the move first. You've got to, if you don't make the move, there's no second step from there. Um, I also think that, you know, don't be, you know, I think one of the things that we were very uh, careful not to do was be restricted by the prevalent rules in the ecosystem, right? There's like a set of unwritten laws that you have to obey or you're a persona non grata. And we never did that. We never stuck to those laws. We just always worked outside of the system. And that's okay. We didn't, I'm not looking to be on the cover of some film magazine or, you know, at, at some, you know, the center stage of some big award function. I'm looking to tell good stories and to tell them to as many people as I possibly can. And there are ways to do that without kowtowing to these rules. So for anyone looking to get in, I would suggest that they find kind of these alternate paths, unless they're very comfortable with the status quo and, in, you know, but it's hard to get into that. Um, and there are enough alternate paths, there are enough opportunities, um, you know, think content plus distribution equals success and find a way to find content and distribution, uh, you know, avenues. One of the best pieces of advice I've ever received is don't let anyone else tell your story. And it was said to me in passing by someone. And I was like, hey, yeah, that's yeah. right. And I realized that I was letting everyone else tell my story. I mm. wasn't, again, in charge of my own story. Yeah. And this was just before I had left Australia. So yeah, that is one of the pieces of advice that has stuck by me over the years. There is a former cop from a Mumbai police commissioner, D. Shivanandan, who I've interviewed a couple of times. So I think he's very cool. Um, he took on the underworld back in the day. And, you know, so I meet him on a regular basis for advice. And he once said to me, um, and I know this is from the Gita as well, but he sort of put it into perspective and he said, you need to show up every day and do your duty like a constable and not be attached to the outcome, which is also what Bhagwan Krishna said to Arjun, right? But, and he said, you know, the constable's job is to come in every day and uh, stand at that street corner and do what he needs to do. And he's not in charge of the universe. So you need to, if, if your duty, and he used the word duty, right? Cops yeah. say duty yeah, karo. Yeah. So he said, if your duty is to be a journalist, you come in and you do your journalism. You cannot say that, oh, you know, nothing's changing. I've not managed to like, you know, the, it's just getting going from bad to worse. And, you know, this environment is so bad. And this. He said, you're not, you're not responsible yeah. for all of that. You're just responsible for your journalism. You come and do and you go now. Yeah. You do your 12 hours of duty. Yeah. Duty maro ghar jao. Yeah. Do it well, but those 12 hours. And yeah. I think that really helps in many ways yeah. because then you can sort of disconnect yeah. from the bigger things. And say, okay, that's not my responsibility. It's not my responsibility to, you know, yeah. make the earth go around the sun. I just have to come and do this much. I did it. Now I'm good. Bus. Thank you. Now I'll spend time with my kid. Now I'll play with my dog. Now I'll go for a walk. I'll do the things that I need to do because duty mara I've done my work. So I'm good. <laughs>